Bob. Um, you in my way? Hello, everyone. My name is Patonko, and this is Bob. Say hello, Bob. Okay, that's enough now. Bob, you can go. Okay, go. Just go. Welcome back to another Redstone video. Also, thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I'm really so, so happy right now. I literally hit it this morning. Oh, no. Here we go again. Anyway, today's video was suggested by Ubaldo Loloa. Or is it Ubaldo Lolol? Hmm. <laughs> And what he wanted was a 4x3 piston door, so I took the order, I prepared the order, but I'm never giving him a receipt. Yes, I now own a restaurant, and I'm taking orders for Redstone and Creations to feed people. This was a very weird start to a video. Anyway, as you can see, with a flick of the lever, this thing closes very, very nice and quickly. Then once again, with another flick of the lever, as you can see, it opens up very nicely. Here's the rest in for it. As you can see, it's incredibly compact. Basically, you can have a wall here covering up this rest and dust, and then you can have a wall here like so. So basically, it's only two blocks wide, but it's secretly three blocks wide over here. Just don't tell anyone, and you'll be absolutely fine. Anyway, to build this thing, you are going to need... <laughs> You'll never know what I actually said. So the first thing that you're going to need is going to be extremely difficult, but this is the only thing that involves that brain of yours. Everything else, you just have to follow exactly what I did, and you should have a working door by the end of this. So what you need is the frame and where you're going to build this door. So once you've got your frame involved, you want to come three blocks down, so one two three and then you want to place two blocks in like so so it's a two block gap in the middle and believe it or not you're going to fill in this gap with sticky pistons facing up with something along the lines of this then you want to come two blocks down from this edge and then this edge like so destroy this middle block destroy this middle block place a sticky piston going into this block and then a sticky piston going into this block place a block behind the sticky piston put two sticky pistons on top of that no look you're not meant to be there mate so and then do this to the other side one and two destroy these temporary blocks once again come three blocks from the top like so destroy these middle blocks two sticky pistons facing downwards two sticky pistons facing downwards one sticky piston facing downwards one sticky piston facing downwards. Destroy this top bolt like so. So it looks something like this from the outside. If you if you haven't done this, then what are you doing? I mean, it's not difficult. If you've managed to get something wrong, then uh <laughs> Bear in mind this is gonna be the front of your door, and this side is going to be the back of your door. The white block means the back, the green block means the front. Do you get it? So come round to the front block as you see it's represented by this light green block. You're going to place a dropper underneath this sticky piston over here and then a dropper underneath this sticky piston over here like so. So they're pointing towards you, their happy little faces. You're going to place an observer to the side of this and an observer to the side of this. These would make these pistons do a little dance but don't worry they're ce just celebrating something random. You're going to come a block out from the back as you can see we're in the back now. You're going to place a block and then a dropper like so and you place another dropper next to this dropper. Destroy this temporary block and you want to come back around to the front and you want to place a uh, observer going into the sticky piston. It makes it go up and then now you have a floating block. <laughs> You want to put rest and dust on top of these droppers like so with four tick delay repeaters going into this sticky pistons over here blocks either side of these droppers another four tick delay repeater and another one on this side a block up and a block to the left destroy this block why as it looks cooler and place a repeater set to one tick do this to the other side so a block block up block to the right destroy this block rest and repeater set to one tick you want to place a rest and torch to the side of this block with a block on top of its head very very heavy you must have a strong neck to do that mate a block to another side of this block and then a block on top of that piece of rest and dust on top of this like so then come back round to this dropper over here you want to place a block and then you want to put a piece of rest and dust on top of that swivel around to the other side and guess what we're going to do the exactly the same <laughs> So it should be looking something like this. You're going to place a rest and torch on top of this sticky piston with a block on top of its head. Another rest and torch on top of that with a block on top of its head once again. Then you're going to take a block to the right of him with a rest and repeater coming out of it like so. Put rest and dust on top of that. Do this to the other side. So rest and torch, a block on top of its head, another rest and torch. And another block on top of its head, a block to the left of him this time, rest and repeater, and then rest and just on top of that, like so. And once again, come back round to the back of your door, so everything should be looking like this, so as you can see, everything's on the back side of your door so far. And then you want to place a rest and torch here, only on the left side though, don't go ahead and do it to the other side. Symmetry is not everything. A block on top of that person's head, we like putting blocks on top of people's head. A block to the side of it, Put set that to two ticks, a block in front and then two blocks down like so, put rest and dust on both of these, 
come round over here and just place a block. Then you want to place a resting repeater set to a four ticks going into that piece of resting dust. And observer facing downwards like so if you can do it. And then that should be next to this off resting torch like so. You want to place a repeater set to one tick on top of this like so. With a observer going into this resting repeater it should go but then it should go off. And then you'll place a resting repeater going into nowhere on this side as well. Place an observer coming out of this resting repeater and then do this to the other side. And then put blocks both in front of their faces. I just forgot something that you want to set these two repeaters at the top here. You want to set those to two ticks not to one so this one's two ticks over here and this one is two ticks over here now to link up a lever into the thing you want to do something a little bit different in fact you want to place a block and then you want to leave a repeater going into it it only works if it's a repeater so now we can try it out by flicking this lever as you can see everything closes fine and then does it open fine yes it does like so finally if you want to link up a button in this thing because it looks so much better i'm just going to quickly show you how to do that right now so come round to the front and you want to place a block next to this sticky person like so i put a block to the left no that's right it's yeah i i know what right and left is of course don't judge destroy this block you can place a button onto this block like so now you can move this button around but just don't make it any to the left as then it will activate a bunch of stuff and just break it so that's no good fun is it then you want to come two blocks this way like so so as you can see they are both on the same level and you want to place a button on this block so this is going to be your two buttons like so you want to place two blocks here like so and a block over here you want to put a repeater over here and just two repeaters over here and then place a sticky person facing down here with a block on top of it like so then you place an observer going off into the distance for that extremely cool elevator over there and then you want to come a block down and a block to the right destroy that block you want to place a resting torch to the side of it a block on top of that resting torch and then a block to the right of it you want to place a hopper going into there and then a hopper going into this side like so as you can see they are both connected to each other you're going to put a piece of rest and dust on top of that. Then over here, you want to place a block. You want to place a comparator coming out of this like so. And then you want to place a block in front of it. And then you can want to place any block. This can be any block. Trust me, it can literally be any. Just use like a block which you don't need. So now when we press this button, as you can see, the door closes. And then we can open the door as well. We can go through the door and then we can close it off behind us if we really wanted to. And then once again, we can open it as we want to go back out. Anyways, that's the tutorial done. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way as possible, please do consider subscribing and give this video a nice thumbs up so more people can see it. I upload three rest of the videos a week, so three awesome tutorials like this one a week. If you have any video ideas, then please let me know in the comment section below. As who knows, maybe it will be in the next video. Anyway, that is all from me and I will see you all later. Say bye, Bob.